My name is Lindsay Miranda. I'm a current master's student here at the new building in Christchurch at the Harvey Lab. I, for my project, I test the uh, ecotoxic effects of chemicals commonly used in cosmetics. One of these chemicals is called oxybenzone. Oxybenzone is commonly used in, in products like suntan lotion, also in makeup, some paints, and even perfumes. To be able to test the toxic effects of this, I dosed model organisms called uh, C. elegant. So what we do is we measure a small amount of this, expose the worms to it, and leave them for about 4 to 24 hours in the shaking incubator to float. Because we test the multi-generational effects that this chemical has on the worms, it ends up being a very long project with many plates. The worms need to be moved from plate to plate because they end up eating all the nutrients on their current plate. I'll show you how we do this in a, in a sterile environment. For moving the plate worms from the new old plate to a new plate, it is important to make sure that all our plates have, are correctly labelled with our name, our date, and what strain of worm it is. In this case, N2. These plates are made with NGM agar, which is nematode growth me media, and a dollop of E. coli. This is what the worms eat. Because we're dealing with E. coli, it is important to make sure that we work in a sterile environment. To do that, we make sure that all our tools have been properly sterilized using a Bunsen burner. So the first thing we do is make sure that the safety flame goes to a working flame and we make sure that the metal is glowing red. This means it is sterile. We turn it back to the safety flame to make sure that no one gets hurt. Second, what we do now is take the old plate and try and locate where this, where the target worm is. As you can see, this is an adult worm in the middle of our E. coli lawn. You can also see some osprey, which we will aim to avoid. What we do is we take our new plate, the one without a worm on it, and we take a dollop of E. coli, which will act as a glue. We will go back to our worm. And if you have a look, you should be able to see. Carefully extract the worm. Go back to our new plate. Where we care. release the worm back onto the new plate. Make sure we sterilize again because we've touched the E. coli and be careful with the pick because it's made of glass and titanium rod so it's quite breakable. Once this is done we check the worm has been moved which you can see on there and he's happy on a new plate ready to be tested another day. Once the worms have been moved and dosed, we want to measure them. The way we do that is we've got a camera set up on our microscope, which is connected to a laptop and a special program, which we can use to measure each worm and count how many offspring they have. We hope to use this data to better understand the effect that the chemical has on these worms and see if it's actually a threat to the environment or not. I hope this was helpful and have a good science summer.